rate and seed setup um, on a Gen 4 4600, 4640, or a 4240 display. Um, specifically on this one, we're going to be in the Seed Star 4 setup. So in here, we're going to go to Seed Star, so we can either use our shortcut button at the bottom here, or we can come over to Menu, Machine Settings, and click Seed Star. So as you can tell, this takes us right in. We've got our planner at a glance. We've got our section control. Um, so our rate setup, the first one here. So if we click on our rate setup, we've got rates one and rates two on. Um, if we want to add a third rate, and let's say we're going to make our population on that third rate 25,000. So we've got our rate in there. Um, the next thing we're going to want to do is come over to the disable rate box, click that and then we're going to hit OK. So just like that, the rate, number one, it turned on, and then we have it set to our seeds per acre. Um, if we wanted to select that one, we just click on the little circle next to it, and that selects it. As you can kind of see in the background, it's changing between those rates as well. Um, if we're doing a prescription, that is actually going to take us right into our work setup page and set up our prescription in there and that will in turn activate all of the uh, prescription side. And as you can tell, we have our prescription down here. Um, if we wanted to click back to rate one, just as simple as that. Uh, next thing we want you to check is uh, your crop setup. So we want to make sure that our seed type is correct. Um, this is going to also tie back to the selected crop, which we have in the Setup tab as Soybeans. If we go into our Setup tab and change that to Corn, Now when we come back into Seedstar, now that you can see that we have a, uh, a corn disc in there, number of holes is important there too. Make sure you know what plate you have in. Um, so it's going to also take us through the product alarms.